Today, I'll tell you as West Virginians, I can't help you anymore being a Democrat governor. So tomorrow, I will be changing my registration to Republican. And he did. That was West Virginia Governor Jim Justice announcing his switch last Thursday night from Democrat to Republican. His latest move was big news. The latest blow to Democrats, newly Republican West Virginia Governor Jim Justice right now uh, joins us right now. Good morning. Uh, Governor, how hard was that decision to make? You seem quite happy to do it in front of a capacity crowd with the president to your right. Well, it's a tough decision. Anytime you make that kind of decision, you've got, you've got to say lots of prayers and discuss with your family. But at the end of the day, it really wasn't very hard because um, we've got real issues in West Virginia. I would call it, uh, you know, I've inherited a dog's mess, and that's all there is to it. But uh, the long and the short of it is when we really got right to crunch time, when I really needed my party, the Democrats at the time, they walked away from me. And we've let a lot of people in our state get hurt. And I'm in this for one reason and one re uh, reason only, and that is to get something done and to do stuff for the great pe people of West Virginia. How did the Democrats walk away from you? Well, it got right to crunch time. And, you know, they're the minority party in our state. But, but we had enough Republican... and the Republican Senate right with us and enough Republican House votes with their votes to get past my agenda. And then they dove in the ditch. And the reason they dove in the ditch was just nothing but, but downright no good for nothing politics. And when they dove in the ditch, everything eroded and lots and lots and lots of our people got hurt. Sure. Governor, of course, uh, in the November election, Donald Trump won West Virginia big. When I heard uh, that there was going to be a big political announcement at that event last Thursday night, I figured it would be Joe Manchin announcing that he was going to switch parties. Instead, it was you. And of course, it sent shockwaves through West Virginia. Have you had conversations with uh, Joe Manchin? And is he thinking about it as well? Because your state is leaning Republican Party, and he's a Democrat. Well, I'd love it if Joe would, you know, to tell you the truth. Joe's a personal friend, and, and I want to say this, that uh, President Trump and his family are personal friends. I mean, at one time, I blew out the tire on my vehicle way back in the woods. Eric Trump was with me, and he was under the vehicle changing the tire. So the, the Trump family's been friends a long time. We've got a lot of things in common. I wish the people, I wish the press would... Uh, get off his back. I mean, this man is trying, and this man's a good man, and he really cares, and, and this is not a reality TV show. I mean, this is serious stuff. I mean, you think our stock market's at an all-time high, unemployment's going down to two, you know, going away from us completely, and, and at the end of the day, I mean, just think about it, and I think about this all the time. I mean, uh, we've got real issues all over the world, especially with North Korea, and and I sure to goodness don't think Rex Tillerson's going to show up like John Kerry did with James Taylor and start singing <laughs> You've Got a Friend over there and think that's going to be very successful. Right, so so, right. so there's real issues and yeah. it's real serious stuff. So you've known the president since he was a candidate. He wins. You get a chance to White House kind of regularly and then you make that decision. Is, the, is some of the beating and maybe what he characterizes unfair treatment and many, very few would argue with that, is it wearing him down from you, can you see or is it energizing him? Well, I think, I think for the most part it energizes him, and this is a determined man. I mean, that's for sure. But at the same time, you know, he, he's a caring man, and he has a sensitive part to him that a lot of people don't really realize or, or know. And, and even if you're a, a tough guy, that sensitive part, you know, it wears on you. And, and that's why I just wish to goodness that we would all realize we're Americans. Whether we're the media or whether we're wh whomever we may be, we're Americans. And we need to all realize he is our president. And we've got to jump in and try to help. And that's the same thing I've got to do in my state here. I'm here to try to get something done and try to help. It doesn't matter to me if you're a Republican or a Democrat in this state. We're West Virginians, and we've got to get stuff done right now. Well, a story you told last week was it sounded like it mattered to your mother that you were a Democrat because you told the story that night. <laughs> Would you recount that real quickly? Oh, yeah. Oh, I sure, I'd love to. Uh, <laughs> 
<laughs> my mom and dad were both really, really strong Republicans. And I'll promise you that my mom would have said exactly this, and she'd be screaming this from heaven right now. She'd be saying, Jimmy, it's about damn time you've come back to your senses. <laughs> and now you're running a state, uh, and you got your senses, I guess, in her mind, just at the right time. Oh, my gosh. What a personality on you. You have to come back. Right. Thank you so much, Governor. Or well, coach the Giants, because you're reminding me of Bill Parcells. Thank you all so Thank much. Thank you so much.